Let's talk about breaking the bones during rhinoplasty surgery because it's one of the most feared but also one of the most misunderstood parts of the entire procedure. When we say breaking, we don't mean shattering or crushing the bones. I have heard a number of different ways that patients think that it's going to happen. We're talking about making fine little cuts in the bone. These cuts are made up along the sides and along the middle of the bone so that we can change the shape, size, and orientation of the bones. And I have a whole separate video describing why we need to do it. But most commonly, we're making them with these very fine, very sharp, very precise chisels that allow us to make these cuts up along the bone. We're not actually hitting it with a hammer. We're making these cuts. There are a few different other ways that some surgeons prefer to do it with some power tools like the ultrasonic scalpel or a power saw. That's a conversation for a different day and it's more of a surgical preference. But the point is that no matter how we do it, it's not as traumatic as you may think. They're actually cuts, not breaks. Plus, the whole bone breaking part is a very small portion of the entire procedure. I would say it's even less than 10%. Most of the rhinoplasty involves cartilage. We're actually moving and changing the shape, size, orientation, position of all these cartilages. The nasal bones only make up this one third of the bone, of the uh, nose rather, so it's not a very big part of the procedure. The other part is we do this on our awake patients all the time and they're very pleasantly surprised. They're completely awake, they're talking to us, sometimes they're cracking jokes, sometimes they're just still and calm and relaxed, other times they may even laugh during the process, but uh, the point is it's not as traumatic as people think. We make breaks by making cuts in the bone, not actually doing a traumatic break to the whole entire nose.